This is a case of a 46 years old male who present with painless scrotal swelling for over 10 years. He has a history of congenital scrotal hydrocell which had been treated. Here comes the ultrasound images. Massive complex fluid collection is seen in right scrotal sac adjacent to the right testis. The fluid is clody and contains echogenic debris that are seen moving randomly within it. The fluid extends from scrotal sac to the inguinal region. The right testis is displaced posteriorly and harbors multiple punctate echogenic foci, keeping with testicular microlithiasis. Right epididymis harbors thin wall anechoic cysts. Left testis harbors at its periphery an anechoic cyst with a focal milk of calcium that produces reverberations artifact. Adequate vascularity is seen on color Doppler assessment. Just like the right, testicular microlithiasis and epididymal cyst are also seen in the left. In conclusion, these features are in keeping with right massive scrotal piacell bilateral epididymal cyst, bilateral testicular microlithiasis, and tunica albuginea cyst. Note, simple hydrocell should be differentiated from piacell. Hydrocell presents sonographically as a clear anechoic fluid with no significant debris or septations. Complex hydrocell present with significant debris or septations, which can be piacell or hematocele, depending on the patient history. Simple hydrocell can transform into complex hydrocell if it become infected. Hydrocell can be congenital or acquired. Congenital hydrocell is classified in two, one, spermatic cord hydrocell, which is consist of encysted and funicular hydrocell. Two, communicating hydrocell which is seen adjacent to the testis. Acquired hydrocell, usually present with painful swelling, secondary to epididymitis, orchidus, testicular torsion, infarction, tumors, or trauma. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.